all of us are excited about this. There's really a sort of a big build up to the go live that's coming. This is an exciting opportunity. We're trying to continue to do things better and push the envelope. This is an awesome time for us. We really felt strongly that if we are going to truly make an impact with long-term outcomes for babies, that you actually begin to take care of women even before they become pregnant. We start seeing patients as early families. I mean, that's our job. I know that we put a lot of thought and consideration into ensuring that the patient experience, they feel fully supported, but they also feel that their privacy is respected. And whether that's about the location of the Family Fertility Center with parking access that's much easier from an elevator bank that's just down the hall, to how the clinic is actually laid out and constructed. I am delighted and thankful that Texas Children's Hospital has let us have the opportunity to design this unique space. First and foremost, it is about patient care and about the experience of the family, but the family is also coming um, and they expect an outcome, and that outcome is a beautiful, healthy child. Working through that process with our physicians, with the outside consultants, with the engineers. We have been designing this facility for four years. We are trying to glean what we think, you know, is are the, really the best tools, you know, from all over the world. One of those things is now we have two embryoscopes that allow us to take a picture of each embryo every 10 minutes. We have tried to design a process and a laboratory that can one, provide the highest level of quality of uh, culture, embryology, but also let us ask questions. One of the reasons that Dr. Gibbons came to Texas Children's and to Baylor College of Medicine is really around um, education and research. I've been involved in the IVF process, assisted reproduction, for a long time. I've been fortunate enough to be able to do some of the first of things. And so I'm really not ready to stop standing at that edge and trying to push the envelope further. If we are going to remain on the cutting edge and in leading medicine, we have to support education and research. We always say that you know, facilities are wonderful, but they're only you know, driven by the people and the programs that are inside the buildings. The nurses, the physicians, the clinicians, the people doing the ultrasound, all of them have a background in reproduction and all of them are involved in some of the education processes. So the education process can be extensive. We have families that have to come to an IVF class. It's important that the patients understand our philosophies, understand they're part of the decision-making process. Everyone on the team is amazing. They are dedicated to this process. They know what a stressful time it can be for the family. They are there to really help the family have an exceptional experience at every step of the way. We have really focused on the patient's experience in terms of patient safety and patient comfort and having anesthesia care as a central part of that process I really think is a game changer. Uh, we're raising the bar with regard to that aspect of their care. I am really proud of the ability for physicians such as Dr. Baker to really provide the highest level of both comfort and safety. We are very conscious of administering safe anesthesia care, and in this context, that means not administering any medications that we know to perhaps be unsafe during pregnancy or during the oocyte retrieval process, the fertilization process, implantation. So we work very closely with our REI IVF physician colleagues and the embryologists. One of the things that we are proud of is the fact that we now have the first um, faculty member that is a joint member of the Baylor College of Medicine and the Department of OBGYN as well as MD Anderson. It's a very unusual circumstance from the standpoint that we have someone that's spending 60% uh, of their time within a cancer hospital and, they're, and we're integrating uh, their care with ours. The Family Fertility Center is a, the last piece um, I think in a cycle with the ability to have a child 
and a mother to be cared for by our obstetrician and gynecologist to receive her care here in the Pavilion for Women, to then deliver here, and then she's a pediatrician within the Texas Children's uh, Pediatrics Group. It truly does complete a cycle of life that we haven't been able um, to quite offer everything in one facility, and now we can. The total package at the Pavilion is equal to none. There's really no place in the, in the country perhaps in the world where this full scope of, of services. I had a couple, it was so neat, their twins' one-year-old birthday, they brought their children to me and brought me a cake. So I, I don't know, it's, um, those are just, those are wonderful things. So building families, what this is about.